Today, we are still rolling with the Ben Milam whiskeys. So they're in Blinko, Texas, and we had a nice visit over there and got a couple of their liquors. So we tried last Friday, we tried the Founders Reserve, that was really good. Really good. <laughs> and today, we are trying the Ben Milam's Barrel Proof, and this comes in at 54.9%, which is smoking. <laughs> So, and this is batch number 1901, or 19-01. So, it was a San Francisco World Spirits Competition gold medalist in 2018. Bam! And this is aged for 11 years. So, um, the difference in color, which I really didn't go over the color last week with this, is a kind of a, on the lighter side of the amber, and we're gonna try this one today. <laughs> what? This is gonna be a hot whiskey. Hot. Let me get this off the rest of the way. Make it look shiny. I need to start building more bar. I don't have enough room for my bottles anymore. <laughs> I just need to stop letting you buy so much liquor. No, we need to build more space. Mm. More space. See, if I rebuilt this area back here, you know, do some remodeling, I could get more bottles back here. I'm pretty sure. What do you think? More bottles? Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, so it's about the same color. Oh, it's, this one's got kind of a different color. It's like a golden amber. And then I just ate fish tacos, so now I got fingerprints all over it. So <laughs> I didn't didn't play any favorites with it. Wasn't it wasn't fish tacos; it was shrimp. Tacos. Shrimp tacos. Um. But yeah, this is like a golden amber color. Okay. Now, this one smells a little sweeter than the Founders. Um, it's got the same oak smell to it that, that's pretty dominant. And it's got kind of like a, a citrusy rind smell to it. And maybe some honey. I'm trying to get... This is more bright. It, it, it smells more bright than the 14-year-old. The 14-year-old smells like more fruity. This is more of a bright citrusy smell. And it's like brown sugars and maybe a little caramel. But it's got like a citrusy kind of smell to it. Almost like a lemon, like a lemon rind kind of smell. You didn't smell pepper? <laughs> no, but I could taste it. <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> This one's a lot hotter. It's got that burn going down. But you can taste the caramel. You can taste the char. You can taste the oak. Um, I'm not getting a lot of citrus in the taste. But I'm getting heavy vanilla. It's hot though. Whew. It's smooth, but it's hot at the same time. It goes down pretty easy, but then it lets you know it went down. <laughs> the flavors are good. They're really bold in this. 
they're just very dominant. I didn't pick up a peppery smell, but I pick up the peppery taste. And it's it's in there. You, you can really tell it's in there. Very, very flavorful. Um, which I love flavor in my alcohol. When you when you can tell, when you can pick out dominant flavors, that's the kind that I like. I gotta smooth it out a little bit. <laughs> Get my little ice cube going on in there. Ooh. That sends it all through your sinuses. You can you can taste the caramels. That pepper is, is really still dominant. Um, you got the vanilla. I'd say like a brown sugar to a caramel taste. Picking up like a it, it's a lot it's a little bit sweeter than the other one, than the founders. Good flavors though. Um, now this one here, I think from what it says in the back, it's made, aged, and bottled in Tennessee. So they just picked it out because that was one of their favorites they wanted to bottle or they want to have bottled. Um, but they have their own whiskey coming out in about a year, which is going to be awesome. Uh, great flavors in these. So that is the Ben Milam. Milam? <laughs> I've had a couple of these today. The Ben Milam uh, Barrel Proof Straight Bourbon Whiskey. And yes, it's, it says to, uh, to the Bold, the True, and the Gallant. And boy, it's, it is bold. It's got a lot of flavor in it. Did you want to try some, baby? No. <laughs> Get into a freaking night later. <laughs> Come on back. I don't like straight whiskey. Oh. It's too burny for me. This one has a lot of spice when it's watered down. And it stays in your sinuses. So... The, the flavor profiles between the 14 year that they have and the 11 year is this one's a little bit more smoother less spicy and like a a, a darker fruit flavor this one's a little bit more bright they both have the same kind of oak flavors same char flavors you can really pick them up um, but this one has more of like a citrus, maybe a little bit of cinnamon, but like a heavy pepper in the aftertaste. So totally different profiles as far as the different liquors, which it, it's pretty amazing how you can have that one and that one, whiskeys, 14 or four years apart from Tennessee. <laughs> and they taste so much different but I like them both they they both have something different so when I'm on my spicy day I can have one of these when I just want to chill and have a little bit smoother the 14 year old now this this one ran us about 80 bucks I don't remember <laughs> you don't remember okay it was I black like, out when you go to the distillery because it's always so expensive. <laughs> it was like eighty dollars, um, but well worth it. They they go very good, neat. They have their their flavors, but when you add ice or a little bit of water, they they make up a whole new flavor, and the burn just goes away. This one's a little bit hotter. I mean, you still get a little bit of it when you first add it. But like now it's a little bit watered down. Still peppery. <laughs> this one's got that pepper. Um, but you can, it's a little bit brighter. It's, it's got the citrusy flavors to it. Which is good. So they have two great 
whiskeys that we've tried. And we're going to try the gin next. So that's next Friday. Mm -hmm. We're going to make, uh, what are we making? She said that, um, make a mint julep. Mint julep. So we'll do the mint julep gonna... with it. But we had a little preview on that one. And that one's got some bold flavors too. I like that one. Um, so we'll try that one next. But that is a good buy. 80 bucks. It, it was 120 or 125 and 80. So it's a big difference, but it's four more years. So that's a long time to wait. <laughs> it's a bottle of liquor. Um, they do have some younger ones that are like anywhere from two to four years, but we wanted to get the ones that, you know, had some age to them to try them. And we'll probably be reviewing those like later on when we can get them. So that's what we got for today. Uh, not bad. Uh, Two-year-old company coming up. Uh, I think they're rocking it. So, what do you think, baby? Well, you don't know. You haven't even tried me. I'll get you to try some I'm later. Not, I don't like whiskey, so. Oh, I'll get you like whiskey. <laughs> Isn't it enough that I like you? I mean... <laughs> well, you have to like me. I'm just rocking it all the time. <laughs> See, that's why it's so hard to like you because you say things like that. <laughs> Well, I found out today, okay, we did watch Ender's, uh, what is that? What did we watch today? Uh, Avengers uh, Endgame. Avengers Endgame. So I have the body of a god. Right? He's been saying that all day, y'all. <laughs> Thor was rocking my body. <laughs> you have the body of a broken, drunk god. <laughs> but it's still a god, right? I'm rocking the god body. All right, that's all I got for today. Like, share, subscribe. We will see you Wednesday for a beer review, and then Friday we're gonna do the, or next Friday we'll do the gym. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>